We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. The Pacific halibut, Hippoglossus stinolepis, is a flat fish whose width is about one third of its length. Its sides are night and day different with an underside of white and top side of mottled brown. Both eyes are configured to the top side, and with this blending of camouflage it lies safely on the bottom away from predators. It spawns during the winter months in deep water and then pursues migratory patterns as it feeds on other fishes and invertebrates. Alaska halibut can reach lengths over 8 feet and weight in at over 500 pounds. It's no wonder large Alaskan halibut are referred to as the largest Alaska sport caught halibut on record tipped the scales at 459 pounds. While catching a monster halibut in excess of 400 pounds is a rarity, it does happen from time to time. The majority of catches average between 30 and 40 pounds and catch over 150 pounds is not uncommon. Some of the best locations for halibut fishing include Seward, Whittier, Palmer, and Ketchikan, Alaska. But before you get caught up in identifying the right place to fish, make sure you're hitting halibut at the right time of day, at the right tide, and during the right season. Typically, the best time of day for halibut fishing is just before, during, and after slack tide, when water currents are weakest and it's easier to keep the bait on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Regardless of where you choose to cast your line, these hours produce yeah, the highest catch hookers. rate for halibut. Halibut yeah. tends to head to deeper overwintering and spawning areas during the colder months. One twenty. So yeah, right about one o'clock, boom. The first thing you need to know about planning Alaska halibut oh, fishing color. trips is that the best halibut oh, season time is mid-May to mid-September. During the day, the best time to fish is during the high slack tide as it will keep your tackle as close to the bottom as possible. Okay, let's win. The most popular method uses circle hooks baited with herring, fished on the bottom with cannonball weights up to 36 ounces on a slider. You can also use the head, tail, fins, and or viscera of sport caught salmon as bait. Halibut eat almost anything they can catch, so jigging with J-hooks baited with octopus or whole herring, or with lead head jigs or other artificial lures is also effective. That's even bigger, I think. Give me a little slack.
Be ready to subdue the fish with several good wax above the eyes and bleed it by cutting a few gill arches, the caudal peduncle, narrow part in front of the tail, or both. <laughs> Never gaff a halibut you intend to release. Makes an interesting video. Oh, you got a video? Still, yeah. Still, yeah. Got my headphones on. All right. Oh, yeah. Here, Captain. Very large yeah, halibut can be shot in the brain with a .22 caliber pistol or small shotgun, but make sure you have control of the fish before doing this. The brain is located just behind the upper eye. Large halibut can also be harpooned or stuck with a shark hook attached to a bullet buoy. The harpoon head must penetrate the fish completely in order to hold a liability. Here, you got my line. There we go. Here, let's undo this. Large halibut can also be subdued without bringing them aboard by tying them to both cleats with a tail loop and another loop of rope through the mouth and gills. The fish can then be bled outside the boat. Fight this all yourself. You can't give me the pole if you get tired. Take a line. Oh, yeah. Big fit. I 
yourself and watch you work. You know, I, I, I had a turn about it one time. Yeah. 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 I brought a group of kids from the church. Thank you.